Welcome fitness enthusiasts to a new video where we discuss the three worst things to do after a workout if you want to build muscle. Let's dive into a world where every action post-workout can have a huge impact on your muscle growth. We're going to explore the science behind the do's and don'ts after a workout, and why certain practices might be sabotaging your gains. Yes, your post-workout routine is just as significant as the sweat you're pouring during your sessions. Stay tuned to find out what you may be doing wrong and how to correct it. Before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. First on the list of post-workout no-nos is indulging in alcohol. Now, you might be wondering why, especially after a grueling workout session, you can't kick back with your favorite drink. Well, the answer lies in how your body reacts to alcohol post-workout. You see, when you exercise, your muscles are essentially damaged, in a good way of course. The process of repairing this damage is what we know as muscle protein synthesis or MPS. This is a vital process for muscle growth, but here's the catch. Alcohol consumption can significantly reduce MPS. This was found in a study by Parr and colleagues in 2014. They discovered that alcohol consumption can decrease MPS by up to a staggering 37%. Think of it this way. Imagine you're building a wall, and each brick represents the protein that helps grow your muscles. Now every time you have a drink post-workout, it's like removing some of those bricks. The wall, or in this case your muscles, can't grow if you keep removing the building blocks, right? To put it simply, alcohol essentially sabotages the muscle repair and growth process. So, while that cold beer might be tempting after a hard workout, it could be doing more harm than good. So next time you think about grabbing a beer after your workout, remember, it might just be sabotaging your muscle growth. Coming in at number 2 is immediate cold water immersion after training. Now we all love that invigorating chill of a cold shower after an intense workout, don't we? It's an instant pick-me-up. And let's face it, it feels great. But, here's the catch. That immediate cold water immersion might not be your muscle's best friend. You see, when we work out, our muscles experience a natural inflammatory response. This inflammation is actually a good thing when it comes to muscle growth, or as the fitness buffs like to call it, hypertrophy. It's part of the process that helps your muscles repair, rebuild, and ultimately, grow. But when you plunge into cold water straight after a workout, you're potentially reducing this crucial muscle-building inflammation. According to a study by Roberts and colleagues back in 2015, cold water immersion can indeed reduce long-term gains in muscle mass and strength. So, what's happening here? When you expose your body to cold water, it constricts your blood vessels, reducing blood flow. This can interfere with the delivery of nutrients to your muscles, which is essential for recovery and growth. Now we're not saying you should never take a cold shower. If it's part of your routine and you love how it makes you feel, by all means, keep at it. But consider waiting a while after your workout to let that beneficial inflammation do its job. So, while it might feel refreshing, jumping into a cold shower straight after a workout might not be the best idea if you're looking to build muscle. Last, but certainly not least, is the importance of separating cardio and strength training sessions. Picture this. You're at the gym, you've just finished a grueling strength training session, and now you're hopping on the treadmill for some cardio. It feels like you're getting the best of both worlds, right? Well, not exactly. When it comes to muscle growth, cramming cardio and strength training into the same session might be standing in your way. Research backs this up. A study by Wilson and colleagues in 2012 found that combining strength and endurance training, what they call concurrent training, can actually inhibit muscle hypertrophy. That's the scientific term for muscle growth. So, what's going on here? Well, it all comes down to the way our bodies work. Strength training and cardio trigger different physiological responses. Strength training is anaerobic, meaning it doesn't rely on oxygen, and it promotes muscle growth. Cardio, on the other hand, is aerobic, requiring oxygen, and it's great for heart health and burning calories. But here's the kicker. The physiological adaptations to cardio can interfere with the adaptations to strength training. In other words, doing cardio right after lifting weights can essentially undo some of the muscle-building benefits of your strength session. It's like taking one step forward and two steps back. Therefore, it's best to keep your cardio and strength training sessions separate if your goal is to build muscle. So, there you have it. The three worst things you could do after a workout if you're trying to build muscle. We've dived into the science behind why alcohol consumption, immediate cold water immersion, and separating cardio and strength training can hinder your muscle growth. It's crucial to remember that building muscle isn't just about what you do during your workout, but also about what you do after. 
If you found this video useful, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to use our calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart and track your fitness journey. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video, and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to give up alcohol, watch the video on your screen next. Until next time, keep those muscles pumping.